I think custom fitting, okay, and this is from Next Custom Fitter, is massively, massively, massively overrated. M- ridiculously overrated. And I think that most people shouldn't even bother. Okay. Do you want to hear my thoughts? And then I want you to try and tell me why I'm wrong. Or do you want to go in first with why it's so good? Well, I might not think you're wrong. Okay. Oh, okay. But I'll, but I'll battle against it for this section. Okay. Go for it. Talk, talk to me through it. So, and, and, and when I say custom fitting, I, I'm talking more irons here than, okay. than metals, but it can be taken about the whole bag, right? So custom fitting, and now I'm going to kind of go against my point already, but custom fitting isn't just length of golf club, lie of golf club and shaft. There's a lot more to it. And part of that is very important. So when I say custom fitting, let's just say you had a friend who took up golf and said, I've seen a set of irons. Should I buy one iron down to Sam Wedge? Well, your answer would probably be no, because you're probably never going to use your one iron, your two iron, your three iron. So in, in a sense, that's custom fitting. Yeah. So by that, there's some strengths to custom fitting, clearly, because you need to know what clubs you're going to have in the bag. And also, as well, that's a benefit, because you might never use them in terms of performance and stuff, but also it's going to save you money. If you buy a set of irons, three irons, pitching wedge, or five irons, pitching wedge, it's going to be cheaper, five irons, pitching wedge, you're saving money. So there's definitely some elements of custom fitting that are massively important, okay? So I'm not saying all of it's a waste of time, but the reason I think custom fitting on the whole is a waste of time, several reasons. I'm just making a note on something here. Okay. Go on. The first reason is, and I used to do this myself as custom fitter, when you go to a fitting session for, let's say, again, irons, 90, and what I'm talking about as well is most of the time, there's going to be some exceptions to everything, but most of the time, you go to the facility, okay, and you're hitting a set of irons off a mat. Correct. So straight away, that is not relevant to the conditions you normally play golf on. It's completely different. Hitting yeah. off a mat and a fairway are totally different, right? Straight away. It's rubbish. Second thing is, Again, most time, the golf balls in your fitting are completely different than the golf balls used in the golf course for several reasons. Firstly, you're either using range balls or if you've got a really good facility, they probably give you like a Pro V1, but you might use a Trix and Z style, let's just say. Yeah. The golf ball is different. When you're on a golf course as well, your swing is at a point where most people pitch up to a golf course by three shots in the net and go into the course. In a fitting, naturally, the fitting will ask you to warm up. So straight away, you're hitting 20 balls before the fitting starts. So you're a lot looser. So those swings you're then swinging in that fitting are a lot freer, not looser. You might swing faster than you would on the golf course because you just not hit them warm-up shots. That's true, isn't it? I think you might swing... Yeah, to that point, I think you can swing faster. But I also think, weirdly, I think players' swings change in custom yeah. fittings. Yeah, well, that's, again, come on to that. Also, most... Again, I see slows our fitting. Most people, when they go for a fitting get nervous because there's somebody watching them. Correct. There's a machine telling them numbers. They don't swing again how they might normally do. They might be a bit more tense. They might be a bit more nervous. They might try and smack it because it seems big number. Club head speed, club head speed, ball speed, ball speed, ball speed. So they start doing different swings. Your bad shot, if it goes left or goes right, oh, so let's delete that one, carry on. There's no repercussions for bad shots. So again, that's different. Then it comes to the point where you go, okay, let's have a look at your lie angle of the golf club. Again, a lot of fitters will be hitting off a plastic board which again, the swing bad. that you put on this plastic board is so different to how you would swing. Yeah, well, one, it's raised up. Anyway. It's raised up. You're and naturally scared. Yeah, so everybody tries to do this weird swing where they come out of it and c- comes up as upright because they're scared naturally. So that's weird. Also, you've hit these irons for let's say an hour, or half an hour, however long. Nine times out of ten, you've only got to try the seven iron. Yeah. Well, how do I hit the five iron? Yeah. How do I hit the pitching wedge? How do I hit the eight iron? You've got no idea. And his lie angle adjusted with length well it will do so as you go longer in a golf club it will play more upright but let's say i'm, I'm getting a fit, custom fit in i've mm-hmm. got a seven iron which is typically standard length yeah wouldn't it they've measured me i need an inch longer than standard yeah but then they lie board me with the standard iron yeah most can times they again. calculate well so in a custom fitting some of them would have longer shaft at yeah, yeah. in, but not always depends on how all this again depends on how high level of custom fitting you go to yeah. but most even at somewhere as great as tour x which is a fantastic facility it's indoor yeah so it's not outdoor on grass again you know where, where can you go to test wedges off grass don't really know probably nowhere really so all these factors together mean that the club that you're fit testing the swings that you open on it, the balls that you hit in, the environment you're in, everything, it's nothing like being on the golf course. So obviously you could argue, well, you're going to get close to what you would normally be than a stock set. 
but how many golfers are that different? Now, if you're five foot two or seven foot two, obviously you need the clubs longer or shorter. But for most people, the whole process, it's a waste of time. <laughs> that didn't quite quite as good in the car, to be honest. When I was in the car, I was so honest no listening. I was so articulate. I was a proper wordsmith. <laughs> it's a voice recorder. Um I'm I'm gonna play devil advocate because I agree with a lot of things that you say. Okay. okay. I think custom fitting needs to be called two separate things. Mm-hmm. I think there's custom made mm-hmm. and I think there's club fitting. Okay. Interesting. So drop the term custom fitting. I think you can get custom made irons, mm-hmm. which are what you're talking about. You need three iron to pitching wedge or four iron to pitching wedge because statistically you don't hit three iron, you don't hit two iron, you don't hit one iron. You also need a wedge makeup, which is 50 degrees of loft, 54 degrees, 58 degrees. You need a, you need a hybrid, a five wood, a driver. Okay, mm-hmm. I'd almost see that as being custom made, and and it's like the color of the golf clubs, the 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 finer details that makes them individual for you, mm-hmm. for you as a golfer. Then I believe there should be a club fitting. Now a club fitting, if I could change the club fitting model at the moment, yes, I believe it should be on grass. I believe it should be in a room where nobody else is present, mm-hmm. so you're just left to your own devices with a club, ideally that you can hit. And that club, if you've hit 10, 15, 20 shots with every club in the, it should have, there should be a bag of a standard set of irons that you don't have, a, have any idea what they are. And you hit every club in that set with no pressure, with not really much warm up, with no numbers or anything. And that room maps everything that you do. It mm-hmm. measures your, your strike locations, your line angles, your distances of every shot. It doesn't tell you directly. You walk out that room and a prescription is printed. Yeah. With everything that you need, you need for your individual after all the data we've measured, after measuring your height, how steep you swing it, your, your lie angle, your bounce angle that you're going to need off your wedges, you need this prescription. Then you take that prescription into the golf shop and then make your irons custom made mm-hmm. for all those other bits that you need. That would be the dream scenario. But even even like I said before, and this is clutching its jaws a little bit, I know. But a lot of golfers, some people listen to this who might be a bit more hardcore golfers might not do this, but a lot of golfers literally turn up to the course, hit five or six putts, and even we do this, and then go onto the course and start playing. But you're in the fitting, you have 10 warm-up shots or 20 or 30 or more. So even that isn't real. Um, I've I, become more savvy when I've used to test drivers, I oh, used to test drivers, I still do, when I, when I used to get custom fit for drivers back in the day, and you're right, I'd get a driver and I'm swinging as hard as I can, as fast as I can. I'm optimizing my speed. Like I'm just smashing mm-hmm. it. I'm no no repercussions. I'm warm, I'm loose. I'm swinging it as fast as I can. I can I'm trying to get launch. I'm trying to get distance and everything else. That's all well and good in that scenario. Yeah. But then I also now, the wiser me, the more mature me, mm. the more <laughs> educated me, thinks to myself, well, I'm not being funny. On a cold Wednesday at the Marriott Worsley Park on the first tee... That's not you. That's not how I but swing. An extra layer on. An extra layer on. I've not fully warmed up and all this yep. jazz. And guess what? I've got to try and hit a fairway right now. I can't just blast it as hard as I can. So that extra super pokey shaft that I had in that driver with seven degrees of loft that I was absolutely nailing in the warm sun in Orlando... That's the Instagram Rick, not the real Rick. Reality. Yeah. I've done the first tee at the Marriott when my hands are shaking, trying to put the tea in the ground, because yeah. one, I'm nervous, two, it's cold. I've got people watching, I've got a fair when I'm looking down at a 70 degree driver with a shaft that's oh. stiffer than stiff. Mm. Doesn't would, give me confidence. Would it-